test for divergence. Test for divergence. Here it is. If the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n does not equal zero, then the series sum of the a sub n's diverges. <clears throat> what does this tell me? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to have to look at uh, limits a little bit on some of these. What does it say? Well, if you've got a series and the a sub n, if that limit doesn't go to zero, you can automatically say it's divergent. It's divergent. If this, the limit of that as n goes to infinity, doesn't go to zero, the series diverges. Okay? For example. <clears throat> if I have series 2n squared over n squared minus 1, here's a sub n. What does the limit of a sub n as n goes to infinity come out to be there? What is that limit? What is the limit of the a sub n? Be two, wouldn't it? However, you want to, L'Hopital, divide by n squared, n squared. I think that's the way we've been doing it. That'll become two over one minus one over n squared. That's two. Right? It's not zero. So, this diverges. Because the limit of a sub n does not equal zero. Limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n does not equal zero. It's got to equal zero for that to even have any thought of being convergent. <clears throat> okay. Let's test for divergence. All right. <clears throat> what about this one? Limit, uh, sorry, series is e, s e to the n over n squared. Does that one convert? Well, again, since we're looking at our uh, test for divergence, let's look at the limit of a sub n. That's the limit n to infinity e to the n over n squared. Well, that's, what are you going to do on that one? It's infinity over infinity, isn't it? Do L'Hopital. L'Hopital it. What do we get? <clears throat> e to the n over 2n. It's still infinity over infinity, so if I L'Hopital again, get e to the n over 2, which what's that limit? Infinity over 2, which is infinity. Not 0. No, not convergent. So e to the n over n squared diverges because the limit of n going to infinity a sub n does not equal zero. Test for divergence. TFD for short. Okay? 
So if this is infinity, the limit of that, as n goes to infinity, is it's infinity. If it's two, if it's one, if it's a half, anything besides zero, it diverges. The series diverges. Okay, now, look at this one. <clears throat> series n over n cubed plus 1. Does the test for divergence tell me anything here? Well, what's the limit as n goes to infinity base of n? Well, it's the limit as n goes to infinity of n over n cubed plus 1. So yeah, if you do our uh, divide by n cubed thing there, you get 1 over n squared, 1 plus 1 over n cubed, that's 0 over 1, that's 0. The limit does equal 0. What does the test for divergence tell me? Tells me nothing, okay? Tells me nothing. The only thing, or the only time the test for divergence tells me anything is if this limit is not zero. If the limit is zero, test for divergence is out. I can't use the test for divergence, okay? It's still, the series, still could converge or diverge. Tells me nothing. I have to use another test. Yes, there's many more tests to come. No. Well, maybe today. <laughs> okay? Are you very clear on that point? If this limit is zero, the test for divergence tells me nothing. It's only if that is not zero, the limit is n goes to infinity, does the test for divergence. But it's a good test, but not in this case. So if that test fails, we go to another. All right. All right. <clears throat> So we've got two tests, basically. We've got geometric. We've got uh, test for divergence. Third one is the harmonic series. <clears throat> the harmonic series. The harmonic series is, well, the most basic form of the harmonic series is 1 over n, series of the 1 over n terms. Turns out the harmonic series diverges. Diverges. So that's another weapon in our arsenal of testing for series divergence or convergence. This series always diverges. Harmonic series. Always diverges. Uh, <clears throat> this is not by any means a proof, but if you look at the uh, partial sums, S1 would be 1. S2 is 1 plus 1 half, which is 3 halves. S3 would be, well, be the 3 halves plus a third, which is 1 point, this is 1.5. It's 1.8333 repeating. S4 would be uh, the S3 plus uh, fourth, which is 2083333 repeating. S5 would be S4, that, plus uh, one fifth, which is 2.28333 repeating. S6 is 2.45. Um, S11, skipping ahead, I've got some written out as 3.0198. Skip ahead, S31. I don't know why I picked those, but it's 402724. These partial sums, they're not going 
to any particular number, are they? They just keep going and going and going, upwards and upwards and upwards. I hit two right here. I hit, oh, I see why I picked 11 and 31, because that's where it crosses over three. This is where it crosses over four. Guess what? It's going to cross over five at some point. It's going to cross over six at some point. There's not going to be a sum for the whole entire series. Not necessarily. <laughs> it's one over n. It's one over n. Yes, only one over n. Uh, well, we'll talk about that one. <clears throat> now, yeah, there are other forms of it. If I have 6 over n, that's still harmonic. It doesn't matter what the constant here is. If it's 1, if it's 6, if it's 3 halves, that's harmonic diverges. Um, if it's uh, 3 over 2 in, yeah, that's harmonic. It diverges. <clears throat> because that's just changing the, uh, the constant multiplier there. Yeah. So if it's over in like that, yeah, it's, it's harmonic. And it diverges. There are some interesting uh, little things that will come up, not today, but later, uh, about some things. Lots to talk about. This one, though, harmonic. It's all we need uh, for now, anyway. Okay. <clears throat> so, three tests today. Geometric which sometimes converges, sometimes diverges. Uh, harmonic, which always diverges. And uh, the test for divergence, uh, <coughs> three things in our weaponry here for testing. <coughs> All right, now let's put uh, some of these together. What if I have series is made up of two parts? that one convergent? Well, when I have two parts like that, <clears throat> can I just look at the two parts separately here? Yeah, I can split up uh, sums and differences. This is really just the sum 5 over 2 in minus the sum 1 over 3 to the n. That's the best way to look at it, isn't it? What about this one? That one's, what is that one? That's an exponential. So that'll be a geometric. R is a half. Believe that? Yeah, that would sum 5 times 1 half to the n. You could write it that way. Same thing over here. This is the sum 1 third to the n. So that one's geometric. R is uh, a third. Yeah, I've got two convergent series, don't I? And it's the difference of the two. So that's convergent, yes. As a matter of fact, I can go one better. What is this convergent to? Well, this one would be convergent to the A over 1 minus R for it would be, the first term would be 5 halves. The uh, R is a, a half. So it'll be 5 halves over a half, which is 5. This one is the A over 1 minus R for it would be, first term would be 1 third, 1 minus a third. So it'll be 1 third over 2 thirds, which is a half. So this actually converges to 5 minus a half, 4, 4 and a half, 9, 9 halves. Uh, yeah, that one I did miss. Is that okay? Believe that? Gotta change that one. <clears throat> All right, what about this one? 
Well, you've got the sum 1 over 5 to the n plus 9 over n. Is that convergent? Same deal. I can look at the 5, 1 over 5 to the n plus the sum 9 over n. Well, this one converges because it's ge geometric. R is 1 fifth. What about this one, though? Diverges. Harmonic series. What you got there? Then? I've got one that converges, the other diverges. Well, the diverges means it goes out to infinity. So I've got a number plus infinity. That's obviously the total. So the whole thing then, so this series, what's it going to be? We diverge it. One part of it diverges, the whole thing's going to diverge in this particular setup here. If you're adding two things together, series, one of them's divergent, then that's going to make the whole thing divergent. Because that goes to infinity, even though that goes to a number, the di divergent one will, by all means, trump it. Trump the whole deal. All right, one more apparently I need to mention. <clears throat> okay? All right, what about this one? Sum n squared minus 4 over n plus 2 squared. Convergent? Am I looking at geometric? Mm -mm. Harmonic? Mm -mm. So we only have three, so what does that leave? Test for divergence? And <clears throat> really, the test for divergence should be one you think about right up, uh, right up front there. Test for divergence, I'm looking at the limit of the a sub n, n goes to infinity. So I'm looking at this, this right here. Look at that. Anything about that? Will the test for divergence tell me anything there? I think so. Because that's going to be limit wise uh, divided by n squared. That's what I'm doing here. 1 minus 4 over n squared. 1 plus 4 over n plus 4, in, oh, 4 over n squared. That's going to be 1 over 1. Which is 1. What does the test for divergence tell me there? Divergent, right? This series. Divergence. Because if this limit is not zero, 